Very nice, another Awakener's Orb in the bank. This little 3.1 mil injection. Hundred and five battle staffs. God damn. It's a nice little eight hundred K. The battle staff drop. Not too bad. Oh my god. More battle staffs? I'll take it. 682k worth of Rune Knight Ore. A lot of purple drops here. Ooh, another Wickener's Orb. Cheeky little 2.6 mil. I'll take it. Just got another Wakener's Orb, forgot to get the recording on. We're absolutely getting spooned, these orbs. I think we're at four total now in 93 kill count. Let's keep this going. Here we go, guys. 100th kill. And we finish it off with another Wakener's Orb. Very, very nice. Let's go pull up the loot tracker quick here. As we can see, Loot Tracker only recorded 70 kills. The first 30 kind of glitched out, uh, but we did get two extra Awakener's Orbs. So let's just add five mil onto that 13 mil. And then also, I believe we should have probably got an extra three to four mil in general loot. Um, so four mil plus the five mil. Let's just put this total at about 22 mil for 100 kills. Uh, no other uniques. We didn't get any Ignits. We didn't get the staff. Uh, for the axe piece and we did not get the vestige either but uh, yeah that's it for this 100 kill count we're probably going to come back to the whisperer at some point um in the future yeah i think um we're gonna leave uh the whisperer to another day and then just try to grind out another 100 kills of the leviathan or our first 100 kills of the Leviathan, and then move back over to Duke and try to go for uh, that prestige piece or the axe piece. And I think before we get back to mining and the max grind, we want to get all the vestiges and full axe on the account uh, just so that we can take advantage of the prices of everything right now before everything dips, probably in the future. And that's kind of the goal for the rest of the next couple of months, I'd say. And that's it for me. Love you guys. Peace out.